Hey everyone, it's Megan Elizabeth with AboveRubyStudio.com. I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance because <laughs> EAA is going on literally outside my house right now. And I know many of you have no idea what EAA is because I had no idea what EAA was until I moved to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. It's a air show of sorts where people from all over the world have their different planes of every kind and it's a, just a crazy huge air show it's actually one of the biggest ones may actually be the biggest one in the world um, for those of you who are from Oshkosh know and have suffered the traffic and people who don't know how to drive in the roundabout so anyway if you hear airplanes and it sounds like I'm in an airfield I am so sorry I basically am <laughs> but I wanted to do this video for you guys today I have some kid free time I was really excited because I've been posting on Facebook Melanie Brown from Courtney Lane Design blog sent me the art booking Cricut cartridge. This is the brand new one that Close to My Heart released um, along with the Artis cartridge that they've had out for a while. This is my favorite and the other one is called Art Philosophy and I should grab it so you can see it because I have it. Oh it's right here. Where did it go? Oh you know what? I did let some, no, it's right here. Whoa! Knock everything on the shelf over. This is Art Philosophy. This was the first one they came out with. And each one of these cartridges have coordinating stamps to go along with them that when you cut things out in the size it indicates on the stamps, like for example, if you cut this lion out at one and three quarter inches, you can stamp him and his cute little face right on there. Same thing with the giraffe. So stinking cute. I love, love these coordinating sets. And the, mo the thing I love most is the diversity of these cartridges. I've been asked so many times over the years, what are your favorite cartridges? My top five as of right now are now these three that you see right here, Art Booking, Artiste, and Art Philosophy. If I had to pick only one of these three, it would be Artiste. I'm just going to be honest. Art Booking is so cool. It's very new and it's a lot more scrapbooking related and mini book and mini album related, which is so super cool for the very trendy smash booking and all that stuff that's going on. You can make your own with this. I'm going to flip through and show you some of the things. Art Philosophy, while it has a little bit of everything from Lacey Doyles and cards and a great font, 3D objects, the whole nine yards, um, I have just found Artiste to be a lot more trendy. Um, freaking just love the different accents and icons and things that are on here and the stamps that go with it. It's just my favorite. They're just great year-round, standard go-to cartridges. And then for the other two, I still, it forever will be dear to my heart since I got it day one. It became my favorite. Um, a Child's Year, it's one of the older Cricut cartridges, and then uh, Create a Critter. Create a Critter will, is always on my desk as well as Child's Year. And then I have a few others that I use a lot, but if I could only use five, it would be these five. And this one has just moved Forever Young out of the way. Forever Young used to be in there. Art Booking is now in that place. Um, I'm going to show you guys some of the things in here. We're going to create a quick layout. I'm going to ramble for a little bit. I know we're like three minutes into this video and I'm rambling. But there's so many good things. This is the Artiste, and I know if you guys look back at some of my videos I've done with this, um, this is the cartridge that I'm using a lot for everything you're going to see on HSN coming August 5th. Um, I think you'll see a hot air balloon. You're going to definitely see the mustaches, because there's a really cute mustache, and there's a mustache stamp that goes with it. There's the mustache, and then the cute like, little movie reel kind of thing. Great 3D images, so you can do really cool things like popcorn boxes and cupcake holders. Um, there's really cool flower boxes, there's great pop-up cards, great sentiments and phrases, great titles. Um, there, there's just a lot on here. You're just going to get so much for the value, um, I feel, of these cartridges. Okay, let's move into taking a look at what art booking is. Art booking, like I said, is a little bit more um, scrapbooking and mini album related. So you can kind of flip through here in the beginning. You can kind of see what page different sentiments are on, different icons are on. It kind of tells you in the beginning of the book. Instead of flipping through each page trying to find what you're looking for, you're looking at here's everything, you know, all the phrases are right here. and You can see what page number it's on. Um, it makes it a little bit easier for finding things. So the other thing what you're going to find on every single layout here, every single page, you're going to find a layout. And there's back to school layouts, there's baby album layouts, there's love layouts, and there's everything from the mini album that already have the holes in the side that you can put together to actual like 12 by 12 pages. We're actually going to do a 12 by 12 page today. And I actually marked these so I didn't have trouble flipping through finding them later. 
because I knew what I wanted to do. But if you take a look here, take a look closely, you'll see it shows you what button all of these things are on. You find the photo mat too, you know, they're all there on the, um, the overlay. So you basically grab your overlay here and you can see here's your creative functions. One that says photo mat one. So this is photo mat two, here's photo mat one. And the one on the right hand side is always the shift button. So you press shift to get to that one. If you've not used a Cricut before, you're new to Cricut, just to explain how that works. Um, and there's all these different really cool little um, embellishments, like I said, the icons, the overlays. I am so super excited about their chevron, there's stars, there's really cute hearts, there's great hexagons. I mean, the overlays themselves are worth it in this cartridge because you can make them for card fronts, you can make them for the full 12 by 12 scrapbook. There's so many options. Um, and great, great, great words. You know, joy, believe, happy Easter, spring, bloom, oh baby, my first. I mean, great, great, great things that you can cut out. This one says hello, just be. So you can use this for cards. You can use it in your mini albums. You're gonna use it on your scrapbook layouts. You can use it in your home decor projects. And that's what I love when I feel like I'm gonna spend this amount of money on a cartridge. And I am very thankful I did not pay for this. Melanie did send it to me just because she knows how much I love it and she knows that I will share it with you guys. Um, I do not receive any other benefits from Melanie uh, or kickbacks or, or anything like that. She did send me the cartridge to share it with you guys for review purposes because she knows I love them. Um, so Melanie, thank you very much. Um, so anyway, great font. This font is, I'm going to dare to say this and I hope I don't get in trouble, but this font is so similar to that Hello Kitty font that nobody can get their hands on anymore and I'm so super excited about it because it's going to be great with my square one masterpiece. You can take a look. I love this M. I mean, well, you know, Megan M. I love it. Absolutely adore it. Um, let's take a look at a couple other letters, shall we? So there's the U. It's just such a great, thick, curly, but not, it, it reminds me a lot of Hello Kitty. It's not the same as Hello Kitty, but for those who can't get their hands on Hello Kitty anymore, um, it's just awesome. So you can just take a look at some of those great letters that are there and, and the numbers and the whole nine yards. Um, BFF, it, there's just so much here. There's so much here. Oh, I don't know if I got back to this. I kind of went off on a tangent. Each one of the layouts gives you the size right there in that corner. It tells you what button on the overlay it's on. Okay, tells you what it is. On the right hand side you press the shift button, but then to actually make what is pictured, it tells you cut everything out at 11 inches. So I'm going to show you guys how that works today. Alright, let's actually get to creating something and I will try to keep my rambling down to a minimum. Well, for Megan anyway. Um, I'm going to actually even use some square one glitter adhesive backed fabric material. You guys are going to love this. We're going to use some of this today too. Um, Oh, I have the Artiste cartridge in. Hold on a second. Hold up. I've been using Artiste like crazy. So we want to use the new art booking. Pop that in, then turn it on. And here's some of the stamps that go along with it. Um, this one is my favorite, the Grit Arrows and the Days of the Week. These are really going to be awesome for journaling. Um, as well as I am very excited about this particular journal tag as well. So these are all in the art booking cartridge. I have so many close to my heart stamps that go with my cartridges. I, I own others that do not go with cartridges, but I pretty much buy everyone or get everyone that goes with the cartridges that I can get my hands on because that excites me. It just does. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. I'm using all paper from the man kit. If you go to crafty, whoa, sorry about that. If you go to craftycorner.com, you're going to see one called the Man or Mustache Kit. Pretty soon, it's going to be changed up a little bit. We got new things in. It's going to go on Above Ruby Studio eventually. It's going to be called As Seen on TV because almost everything that you're going to see in that kit is going to be on HSN this weekend. And I wanted to be able to show you guys how to get your hands on it um, since I will just be selling the or sharing the Glue Glider Pro. I'm actually going to be doing the pink cartridge this weekend. Pink cartridge is back for a limited time only. We did a special run of the pink just for HSN. And um, it's going to be a really awesome exclusive. So check out, check that out this weekend. Here's one of the pink cartridges. Um, it's empty, but you can see that it's there. 
So, um, all right, so we're using papers from the man kit or the As Seen on TV kit. I'm still rambling, so you guys just have to forgive me this morning. I'm also using a sheet of all stressed out paper layers, and I actually might be using two of this because these colors, this is like my favorite sheet of paper layers. It just is. Um, well, I don't know. It's between this and Happy Dots. But I'm going to be using this today, and I'm also using a piece of uh, Cutmates premium cardstock. This is the brown, I forget what it's called. It's like cocoa something or chocolate something. Um, and we'll be using that. And these two other pages. This one is from that man kit. This, uh, my mind's eye sheet. Miss Caroline. It's called Dilly Dally Hello. And it's a flannel paper. It's pretty awesome. All right. Let's get started. We're going to be doing this kind of, it's a celebrate here. I'm going to be changing it up. I'm going to do the My Hero, and I'm actually going, I'm going to make this my own. <laughs> so you guys are going to see how it kind of works out as, as we go along. I'm going to be doing that, but then I'm actually going to mix in, let's see here, these little 4 by 4 photos, because I love the little arrows on there, and I'm actually going to do flip mode to do kind of two of them. I think it's going to be really cute. We're going to hope it works out. Um... You know, because I'm kind of creating this as I go, and I didn't try it ahead of time. So we never know. All right, actually, this needs to be pulled out a little bit more. Okay, so let's grab our sheet of paper. We're going to be using our um, blue as our base. This is going to be the base of the card, of the paper. And then we're going to use the brown cardstock as our overlay on here. It's going to be a little bit more... Um, I guess masculine in theme is a good way to say it. So we're going to load in our paper. And they definitely changed the way these overlays look. And I, I heard rumor that they're changing that again, too. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so if you take a look here, you're going to hit the overlay function, which is this one right here. And then this is the button on here. It's the third row, third from the right, second, third one down. So one, two, three, one, two, three, it's the letter K. And we don't need to press shift, it should come up, because it's on the left hand side, it should come up just fine. And then we actually need to make it 11 inches, we'll wait for it to come up. It's working on it. All right, and then we go up to the 11 inches because we want it to be for the full 12 by 12, so we want it to look like it's pictured here. And I have everything at full. Actually, the pressure doesn't need to be quite so high for cut mates. So we'll just let that go. It's going to take a little while to cut out. So I'm going to come back to you guys once this finishes cutting out because there's a lot of little things. You can see it's kind of like a chevron uh, herringbone kind of look right there. So it has a lot, to, a lot of little lines to do. Okay, so that's finished cutting out. We're going to unload. And you guys are going to see, it, first of all, it cuts so cleanly with Cutmates. I mean, like, there's no residue, there's no pooling, there's no snagging. All these little tiny cuts are going to come, pop right out, which is the awesome thing. This is what paper layers is printed on. And then there's the solid packs of cardstock, all available to you guys. It's perfect for your die cutting machines. Especially if you ever have any frustrations with rips or tears. My mat is extra sticky because I just refurbished it. Look how cool that is. Look at this overlay. I love it. So you guys can do really awesome things with the overlays. Now i got to get all these little pieces off. <laughs> because I don't have another Cricut mat ready to go. And I didn't think that one through. <laughs> Alright, they're just going on the floor for now. That's what a vacuum cleaner is for, right? bugger. You could save each and every one of these and replace them back on there, but I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> like replace them onto a, paper, a layout or something. Or even use a section of them on a card. Like, you could do the pattern. If you really are into saving your, your scraps or your pieces. And they are coming off extra difficult just because it is a brand new refurbishment. Look how 
cool that looks. Isn't that awesome? All right. So we're going to set that aside. And then the next thing we're going to do is cut out these little photo matters for um, my pictures here. And we're going to do them at 11 inches. And that will cut them out for a, you can see right there, it says a 4x4 four four photo. So we need to make sure it's still on 11 inches. We need to switch to photo mat 2. Again, it's not a shift. It's the arrow. And then this is right here with the letter N. And we're going to cut one out. And then we're going to cut another one out in the green. And we're going to do it in flip. And I think it's going to be super cute. that so you guys can take a look how cool this is and then we're actually going to use um, I love this I love this we're gonna actually use this arrow on the layout too so you don't have to waste anything switch this grab this one now we're gonna use flip mode I don't know if you guys remember how to use flip mode or if you've ever seen flip used on a Cricut before but we're gonna show you today load this in. Now we're going to hit repeat last. It's going to bring up the same image and then right here there is a button that says flip. We're going to click that and it's going to reverse the image so the arrow is going the other direction. Keeping everything else the same, just hit cut. Oh, we need to do the My Hero. Ha ha, silly me. We're going to scroll all the way down here past where we already cut. Use the directional arrows. Come on. There it goes. Turn flip off. Now we need to use the one that says title. And for this one, we do need to press shift because it's the right one. So shift. And it should come up here. We're going to keep it on 11 inches and see how big it cuts it should be good. Boom. That's so cool. I adore this font. Adore it. All right, and just to use some of these, just to show you, I may end up not using them, but just in case, we're gonna cut out a couple of stamps. They're at three quarter inches. If you look at the stamp size, so you need to scroll all the way down to three quarter inches. They're on page 79. It tells you right here in the corner, page 79, three quarter inches. Turn to page 79 in your handbook, and you'll see them right here. There are the little arrows there, and we're gonna cut a few of those out just to have them. So, I believe I found an error, and I'm not sure how to fix this. It cut them out so super tiny because I think it's made for this layout size. So this arrow is actually like fit to size of what it is here. So even though on here it says art booking three quarter inches, it looks like we may have a little bit of a discrepancy. So we're going to go ahead and what I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. We're going to try this again. I'm going to make it 11 inches just by chance that this works. So let's take a look. Um, yeah, let's try this and see what happens. Repeat last. So normally the size that is listed here is what you would cut it out as. And that's how it is for all the other cartridges. But I'm wondering if since I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I probably could have done real dial size. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's stop this. Probably needed to do real dial size. I didn't read the instructions on here, so I may have just screwed that up. But if you do real dial size, you'll probably get a true 
um, three quarter inch. So let's try this. There's a real dial size button on here. If you take a look, click that, and we're gonna actually go back up to the top of the page here. And now we're gonna try three quarter inches. We're gonna see how close they are to the same. If they are, you may need to be using real dial size when you're doing the stamps for this cartridge. We'll find out, don't really know. You're learning with me. <laughs> It looks like that's the key. It does look like that may be what you need to do. Yeah, and it even looks like they're a little bit bigger. Okay, so when you're using the art booking cartridge and you're working with the stamps and you're following the stamp size, make sure you select real dial size. Apparently that's very important. Um, to make this work. All right, so they're all cut out. We're gonna unload this. Now that I have a bunch of them on here, I'm gonna turn this off, slide it back out of my way. And we're actually gonna stamp on here um, while they're still on the mat, because I think it makes life easiest. And I'm gonna use both the stamps. There's two of them, two uh, arrow stamps. It actually kind of makes me feel a little frustrated, but, you know, you guys learn right along with me. I'm going to use some um, chalk, uh, fluid chalk ink, chestnut roan. Um, just a little easier to work with for right now. Alright, and let's see, we're going to stamp right inside there so it just gives a little bit of extra something to these stamps or to the images rather. I'm going to see if it fits inside of here too because you might be able to do the size recommended on the sheet. Yep, it's the same size. It's pretty close to the same size. I mean, it might be a little smidgen smaller. Um, so now I have a bunch of these arrows that are about the same size. So three quarter inches using real dial size or don't follow the directions on the stamp, use the size that's listed in the handbook. Not sure which one to tell you is better to do. And maybe uh, Melanie or another close to my heart consultant can give some feedback. Leave a comment, let me know what the trick was or what you learned from it, if anything. And I know I'm not going to use all these, so, or at least not all in the same layout. But we're using, making them anyway. All right. Um, while I have my ink pad out, normally I would use my chocolate ink edger, but I'm going to go ahead and just ink the edges with the chestnut roan of the My Hero. Just for a little bit extra definition. as a tutorial definitely takes a lot of time when you're using the Cricut trying to get everything all laid out cut out inked edged stamped I feel like it makes for a very long tutorial it's a long process to even create with but hopefully you guys learn from it and enjoy the step-by-step -step process I feel like you're creating alongside me that's my goal it's always been my goal if you watched my first DVD that was one of the things I said in the main opening and I truly meant it. Um, I would love to just come and craft with everybody in their homes or my home. Either way, it just sounds like fun. We could all have a good time together. Learn from each other. Love Ruby Studio people have, I don't know, you guys are the most incredibly loyal, incredibly loyal fans and followers that just give me so much love and support and I'm just so thankful for that. Okay, here are my pictures. Now I'm going to have to cut them down to the 4x4 four four size. But you can see Jenna was a little bit scared on a ride we went on. We went on a train ride. And it was just so cute because she snuggled into her brother. She didn't want to snuggle into me. And I found that just adorable. So I got several pictures of it. And he's, of course, making silly faces. Because that's what Benson does. And... Put it off here. 
gonna make it a true 4 by well, do I need it to be a true 4 by 4 Let's see. Might want a little overhang. Just so I can adhere it. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. Just a little bit, tiny, tiny smidgen bigger than a 4 by 4 I love this. Oh, and then what I was going to do, actually, let me do it from here. I'm going to grab a little piece of the red for underneath this arrow and a piece of the green for under the other one. I'm just going to cut it out because I'm not going to, these are like perfect um, squares, rounded squares. So there's no sense to kind of cut into those, cut into another strip. All right, so to adhere everything down, we're just going to use the Glue Glider Pro. I'm going to use and I'm just going to go down in the corners of each one, each little section here. That way I'm not messing with or waiting for or trying to race for a wet adhesive not to dry before I get it stuck down and all the little, little pieces. I can just literally do little tiny little strips just by pushing this down and letting a little bit advance at a time. Like tiny little sections can come off. Um, that's what I love so much about this. Once you get the hang of working with it, um, you can just let little tiny pieces come out of each at each time. And just doing some random pieces so it doesn't pop up in the center. Um, but you don't need to cover the whole entire thing. Right. It's pretty cool. It's really pretty cool. All right, so we need a little red on here. Again, the same thing, just a couple little pieces release down around that arrow, it'll hold it right in the place. Same thing on this one, a couple quick releases. And I'm actually going to adhere the photos down and then put these on top. I think it'll work the easiest. I'm going to go ahead and use one of the tags. This is actually also from that, uh, ooh, wait, do I want to use the, oh, I'm going to use the back side. So these tags are actually from that kit as well. Um, I'm going to ink the edges and I'm going to actually, oh, I should round the corners. Um, this is from that man kit as well. So I'm actually going to ink the edges and normally I would round my corners, but my corner chomper is actually packed to go to HSN with me. So I'm doing some crafting before I leave, but I'm going to use this as the journal tag and then I'm going to write in the little kind of story here. Um, let me place these down. About how Jenna snuggled into her brother and he was her hero for the day. There we go. That pretty much completes our layout using the Art Booking Cricut cartridge. You guys can go check it out over at Melanie's website, um, CourtneyLeanDesigns.com. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy the moments, and I'll see you again soon at AboveRubyStudio.com. Bye-bye.